On May 9, 2019, the National Communications Authority, NCA, issued a statement shutting down radio stations that were operating against its regulations per the 2017 FM Broadcasting Audit. This affected several radio stations, notable among them being Radio Gold and Radio XYZ, both known to be affiliated to the opposition NDC. In the NCA report, Radio Gold was fined 61 million Ghana cities for operating with an authorization that expired on 6 September 2000. NCA officials on the day stormed the premises of Radio Gold and ordered management to shut down its activities. The matter took a political turn, with members and leadership of the opposition NDC calling the action an attack on press freedom and dissenting views. Over the past 10 months, we have repeated the story of how two four-wheel drives entered our premises around 2 p.m. on 9th May 2019. The occupants of the vehicles were three employees of the National Communications Authority, NCA, with adequately armed police officers, armed as though they were going to arrest a hardened criminal. The three officers of the NCA were carrying a letter, not on a delivery errand, but with a command from court above, end quote. The letter was dated 8th May to give the semblance of notification to the station. Their command was simple, order Radio Gold off air. As part of events marking the 24th anniversary of the station, on March 5, 2020, employees of the defunct station taught some departments in the facility, such as the CEO's office, marketing department and its annex, the newsroom and the studios. Dusty decks and chairs could be seen all over, depicting the absence of workers and inactivity for the past 11 months. The employees claim that after management of the station took a legal action against the NCA, the Minister for Communications, Esla Ousu Ekufol, demanded an out-of-court settlement which has currently left them with no avenue for redress. It is worth noting that Radio Gold's continuous absence from the airwaves is not out of the unreadiness to cooperate with authorities. Radio Gold has actually demonstrated a strong interest towards an amicable resolution of the, of the disagreements. The only reason, the only reason Radio Gold is still off air is because the Minister of Communication told the Communication Select Committee in Parliament that she had changed her mind. According to the workers, the action taken by the NCA is politically motivated because they do not owe them any amount as has been made known to the public. They narrated the challenges they have been subjected to in their attempts to secure alternative sources of livelihood following the shutdown of the radio station. As we speak, every other person is at home. You know that media operations thrive on adverts. We are not playing adverts. We need, we are not playing adverts. There's no business coming in. So as human as you be, you cannot go to management and be demanding for what? Salary? Salaries. For what? Work. It's somebody who you'd have to go and beg for food. Because looking for a job is another thing. Looking for a job in this very time is another thing. Where are the jobs? Where would you go? And we have a couple of people who have tried looking sad for jobs. Story. And the sad story was that because of Radio Gold, Gold being on their CV, mm -hmm. they were rejected. And it's so sad when, for instance, I go and sit on air and uh, continue to ask for <coughs> listeners to send us money so we can keep the show going, so we can keep... Uh, buying electricity, those are the things, and data, because uh, we are now online. 
So we need to buy data, we need to buy electricity to keep it going. That is how we are surviving. So this is the newsroom of Radio Gold. And as it would have been expected of a joyous newsroom because it's their anniversary, the case is different here because the workers have been laid off following the shutdown of the radio station by the National Communications Authority because they have failed to abide by regulations of the authority. Reporting for City News, Amni Ayikwe Okai.